Hey folks, welcome to another product review at Phenomenal. Today we're going to look at one of the most successful actively managed ETFs trading in the US, which is Aventis Small Cap Value ETF. It has a ticker AVUV and has managed to attract close to $10 billion of assets under management, which is phenomenal given that it launched only in 2019. So let's find out what makes this ETF so successful. Um, so first we're gonna see what the right benchmark for AVUV is. And given that it does seek to provide exposure to small caps and value, you would expect something like the Russell 2000 Value Index. And indeed, our performance benchmarking tool does suggest that this is the most appropriate benchmark based on having a much higher R squared than to the S&P 500. Now since the tracking error is uh, lower than uh, that of the S&P 500. And from a performance perspective, we can see that ABUV has nicely outperformed its benchmark since its inception. Now, let's see what the overlap in portfolios are between the ETF and its benchmark. Uh, for that, we can use our Securities Analyzer. And in this case, um, we're going to use IWN as a proxy for the Russell 2000 value index. And we can use our fund overlap analysis to see the number of holdings in AVUV, which is 746, so it's quite diversified as a portfolio. Having said that, IWN has a much larger portfolio, about 1,426 stocks. And then you can see there's an overlap of about 540 stocks, which does equate to an overlap percentage between both portfolios around 40%. Now, out of memory, that is an active share for ABUF for approximately 70%, which is neither very high nor very low, but we can check uh, out that later on. Now, let's see how consistent the factor exposures were of ABUE. And the first step, of course, is to select the right benchmark, uh, which is not the S&P 500, but is the Russell 2000 value index. Now, uh, regression or returns-based uh, effect exposure this does highlight fairly consistent betas across time. Now, we do see that there is a positive exposure to the value factor. And remember that this is compared to the benchmark, which is the Russell 2000 value index. So effectively, that means the stocks um, are cheaper on average than in the Russell 2000 value index. Uh, we can interestingly also see slightly neg negative exposure to the size factor. So that does mean that the average stock has a larger market capitalization than that of the Russell 2000 value index, uh, perhaps simply because the fund is becoming quite large and liquidity is constrained there. We also see positive exposures to the momentum factor as well as the quality factor. And negative exposure to the low volatility factor. Now, what's great about this is that the effect exposures are very consistent. So you know exactly know what the fund or ETF is doing. And despite this being an actively managed ETF where the fund manager could have different style exposures, this exactly provides you what expect what expect it, it should. Now next, let's see how much alpha the fund has uh, generated. And we're going to use our alpha analyzer tool for that. Now, the way we define alpha is not simply outperformance, because we do know that AVUV has outperformed um, its benchmark. Um, the way we define alpha is what, as the unexplained returns that we cannot attribute to the market or to equity factors. Now, what we do see compared to its benchmark, yes, there is outperformance pretty consistently since inception, which is great. Um, from an alpha perspective, this still looks very positive, except in 2020 where alpha was negative. But overall, this is a fantastic result um, in a sense that you have very strong um, and really consistent alpha generation. Now, in case you like the product, but you do want to see if there's a cheaper version of that, we can go to our fee reducer tool. And that throws out similar ETFs um, or mutual funds based on fact exposures 
Now, in this case, we're a little bit cheating because what we're saying effectively, uh, there is an Avantis uh, small cap fund um, that is a proxy for the ETF, but that's not really what we're looking for. Um, you can also see kind of like the next five uh, ETFs that are similar but cheaper or funds. In this case, there's also an American Century small cap value fund. Uh, American Century is the parent of Aventus. So they likely have a very similar investment process. Um, so we're going to ignore that one. Maybe let's go for a product from Fidelity. Um, so this is from Fidelity um, Advisors, where we can see the fee uh, will be lower than for AVUV. AVUV. Um, AVUV is charging 25 base points versus um, this share class is relatively cheap at one basis points. Um, might be a large minimum amount. That's something that um, we need to evaluate. Um, from performance perspective, quite similar. Uh, we do can see that the Fidelity product had a little bit lower drawdown in 2020 during the COVID crisis. Uh, having said that, um, also a slightly lower return since then. So in a nutshell, uh, AU, AVUV um, is relatively cheap at 25 basis points. Um, it does exactly what you would expect it to do, i.e. provide exposure to cheap stocks and to small caps uh, compared to the S&P 500. Compared to its benchmark, it does look slightly different. Um, but overall, what we like is that the fact exposures are very consistent, so you exactly know what you're getting. And that's uh, it. Uh, hope you learned something. Have a nice day.